Happy New Year, folks. I'd like to tell you a story. A story about this young kid who decided he wanted to follow his dreams and become a professional wrestler. So, you know, he shows up and he's all athletic and he's got his short hair and he's got a fighting spirit. And what happens next is he gets beaten up and made fun of. And he never gets any credit for anything that he does. He should have been called the top student, but instead he was looked over time and time again. So, he worked even harder. And for some of the guys in that class, it wasn't easy for him to beat them. But there were others who it seemed were the golden child. And they could, they could never be eclipsed, no matter how hard this young man worked. And then, their coach. Oh man, their coach was this ex-military hard-ass who just liked to mop the floor with them. And come Sundays, oh, Sundays were the worst. You see, he would make them run. And he would work them out and make them throw up. And then he would beat them down for hours upon end. And then he'd make them do it again. You see, because this made him feel good about himself. That he could still beat up the youngins. <sighs> but this young man with his short hair, he, he grew to resent his coach. And when he finally became a professional wrestler and he has his, his long hair and his, you know, his whole character, there was one thing that stuck with him from training. He hated his coach. I hate you, Judd. And I want you to know that come January 4th at the Rock Falls American Legion, I am going to unleash the beatings that you put upon me for years. Myself and Augustus Draven are going to wreak havoc. Make no bones about it, there will be no secrets this year because it's no secret that I hate you and I hate Bucky. So, in one match, I get to end both of you. Bucky, you're a lot of fun to watch, and man, if the people don't love you, they're not going to love what happens to you come the 4th. And Judd, I can't wait to get my hands on you, because you have interrupted me twice now, as I am going about my business destroying the icons of Zao Alive. Well, someone could consider you to be an icon, so you're next, buddy. Oh, coach. You could have avoided this.